Hi everyone, this is Jonas. In this video I want to show you how you can create multiple columns in your blog website or on any WordPress website you might have. Now to get that started you should log into your dashboard, you should go into your WordPress website backend and once you logged in and see a similar view like this, the dashboard, um, we're going to create a new page for that purpose. So you can click on pages and then on the top here you click on add new. So we just call it um, multiple columns as, just as a sample. And um, well in order to create multiple columns now on this page we use a certain plugin to do so. So I have it already installed on my system here on my website. Um, I go to plugins into the plugins section to show you how you can do it as well. The plugin I'm going to use is called Page Builder. Um, it's called Page Builder by Site Origin and it is a free plugin that you can easily download if you go on plugins add new and then you just say Page Builder by Site Origin. You click on enter and then it should show up. In my case, as I said, it's already installed. You just install this plugin. And when you then add a new page, you have additionally to this visual tab and text tab, another page builder tab. You can click on that. And then you have access to a very, very special editor that lets you create content, text content or also images much more flexible than it is natively possible in WordPress. Now, if you have that installed, um, the first thing that you do is to add a new row. So you click here on add row and then you already see that you have a number of options here. You can say uh, set row layout and then there's a number and then columns with ratio of la la la, so on. So the default uh, is already that you have here 50, 50. That means you have two columns of equal size. So 50% of the left column and 50% for the right column. You can change that by changing this number. You can say, I only want one column. This is the default basically that you have in WordPress anyway. So you can have text that spans from all the left to all the right of your web page. Now you can also have more than that. And the default is that if you, for example, have three columns that um, this plugin divides the three columns or the whole page into three equal pieces each. As you can see here, 33% uh, for th each of the three columns. Now what we want to do for this case now is to create a page with two columns and they should be even. You can also just change this uh, little element here and say the left part should be smaller than the right one or the other way around. So you can make very, very flexible layouts with this. Now we want it to have even. Um, you can also just click here and say 50 and then it gets set automatically. We can then click on insert and we have a new row here with these two columns. Now each of these elements here can be selected and you can add further widgets, so-called widgets to it. So you can click on this add widget here and then you have a number of options to add further elements to your columns. Now you can just add a text element here, which is always available in WordPress. You can also add a visual editor element here, which gives you a bit more flexibility of what you can add to your columns. But this requires an additional plugin. Now let's just click on text and let's also add to the right part another text widget. I click on text here. And then you can edit the content for each of the columns texts is here because so far it's just an empty, empty piece. So let's go on a website. Uh, let's, let's go to Google and get some sample text like lorem ipsum. Yeah, this is always used for, for just sample text that you want to use on any website. So let's just copy it here and fill our columns with some sample content. We put it in here and say left column. We click on done. 
And well, actually what we can also do because we have now a working widget with some text in it, we can just delete the right part and then on the left widget here, we, gen we can just easily click on duplicate. So you can click on duplicate and drag over this piece uh, of text where already some temple te uh, text is in. You can drag it to the right column and yeah, have some little bit of um, effort saved, let's say. Yeah. So here you can just say right column and click on done. And now we can click on preview here to have a glance of the web page, how it looks now. Now we have a multiple column web page with the left column text and right column text. And of course you can make different text in each of the sites. All right, that's already it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and like this video.